cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the material between the plasma membrane and the nucleus. So this is a plant cell and the big central thing is actually a central vacuole. This thing over here on the side that doesn't look so important is actually the nucleus, so it's got the DNA in it. So this is a plant cell. Anyway, the things between the cell membrane, this whole cell membrane, and the nucleus, that's called cytoplasm. Outside you've got a cell wall, inside the nucleus you've got the DNA, and the goop in there is called the nucleoplasm. The goop out here is called the cytosol. And so the cytoplasm is the cytosol plus all these organelles. So cytosol is the jelly-like substance, the goop. It provides a medium for chemical reactions to take place. So if you didn't have goop in here, then there would just be organelles sitting on the bottom. So all the chemical reactions take place in there. Who has a nucleus? Everybody has a nucleus except bacteria. So fungi, animal cells, plant cells, and protist cells. The function of the nucleolus, so that's not a nucleus, it's the nucleolus. So that's the part that actually makes um, the ribosomes, so to manufacture ribosomal RNA. Long molecules of DNA and associated proteins are called. So each molecule of DNA, oh, sorry, each molecule is called chromosomes, but all of the molecules altogether is called chromatin, um, with the proteins too. During cell reproduction, what happens to chromatin fibers? Um, so when the nucleus, um, the first the nucleus replicates the DNA, after that when the cell actually divides, so you have a cell separating from another one, um, in order to separate, so it looks like this first of all, right? You're trying to separate them out and the DNA is being pulled one side to that side and some DNA being pulled over to that side, and you want to have equal amounts pulled over to each side. So in order to separate it, you don't want the DNA all spread out like this. It's so delicate, you'd break it. You want the DNA super coiled into these kind of funky looking chromosomes. So um, let's see. What happens to the chromatin fibers, which means what happens to the DNA? The DNA is degraded. Oops, I hope not. The DNA weaves throughout the nucleosomes to produce many ribosomal subunits. Um, nope, that's just when you're trying to when you're trying to make ribosomes. Um, so that's certainly not when you're reproducing or when you're separating out the chromosomes. They are spread out as thin strands throughout the nucleus. No, they would break. They coil up into compact structures. That is the story. So it's D. <coughs> the nucleus of a cell is surrounded by a single layer of membrane. Nope, it's surrounded by a double layer contains DNA. That is true. Is contained within the nucleolus. No, the nucleolus is in the nucleus. Is the primary location of protein synthesis? Nope, those are ribosomes outside of the nucleus. Is the region of the cell where ribosomes are degraded? Nope. So it contains the DNA. Protein synthesis requires the use of messenger RNA, which... <coughs> so messenger RNA which is made in the nucleolus, no, that's ribosomal RNA, must be made by the ribosomes, nope, directs the degradation of DNA, nope, um, protein synthesis, that means making proteins, so it requires the use of mRNA, the mRNA carries a message to the nucleus, nope, not to the nucleus, is translated by the ribosomes into amino acid sequences of proteins, you know what, that is too much right now. We're going to get to that in another unit. Don't, don't worry about that too much. Okay, here's a video that I will show you in class. And I think I'm going to end there so I can start with organelles in a fresh one.